<laughs> uh, that's Bruno Mars, 24 hour carrot magic. And Bruno Mars doesn't join me now. Uh, but who does join me? <laughs> I don't know why I played Bruno Mars, but we did. Uh, Samantha Marks and Jonathan Bailey are here now. Now, uh, Samantha, hello. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Isle of Sam. <laughs> yes. My God. Uh, yes, I know. How many years ago is that? It's a thousand oh God, years ago. It's like uh, seven, eight. Wow, I you, can't you're even... so old. I know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, untouched by time, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Samantha Marks, of course, who we met on uh, I Do Anything. It was the Nancy one, wasn't yes, it? Yes, yeah, indeed. Yeah. They're all kind of a blur. And uh, Jonathan <laughs> Bailey, I mean, no. you've done you've a lot of telly under your belt now. Yeah, a little bit, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Over the um, past few years. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, it's all good. It's yeah. all good. Now that, but you come together for a musical. It's the last five years, written and directed by Jason Robert Brown. Mm. Um, now, this, uh, friends of mine in America love this musical. I mean, are obsessed by it. Yeah, well, it's one of those, I think it's one of those pieces that um, sort of gone as that sort of response. I, I think there's a real place in many people's hearts, whether it's sort of musical theatre or just as an album. Yeah. I well, think when I first heard this album, when I was a teenager, it was my number one playlist. I just listened to this because it's, you know, it's it, it's an emotional piece that you kind of, everybody can relate to, but people get, yeah, fan, really fanatical about the show. And has it been produced here before? It's been a, I think there have been a couple yeah. of, yeah, there's been like sort of um, a couple of concert versions and um i think the many a chocolate factory did one yes a few years ago okay but this is jason having written it and is now coming over and he's directing it as well oh my yeah. god and also what's really interesting about it is it's kind of semi autobiographical so he's there's a lot of his sort of past so it's about a relationship he had he experienced yes. yeah yes yeah. now what's the is it told backwards or something or i'm i go backwards he goes forward so you, you meet me at the end of a marriage, basically, and then you meet him at the beginning of an amazing relationship, and we sort of, I travel backwards, he travels forwards, and we sort of meet in the middle. Yeah, for a high five. Yeah. Oh, so it's a bit like Merrily We Roll Along or something. Where you, yeah, it can, yeah, yeah, it can yeah, be yeah, exactly, yeah, yeah. Okay. Listen to us, music, musical theatre talk, everybody. <laughs> I know. Oh, uh, we haven't alienated half Wendy's. the audience. Half the audience are going, what on earth are they rambling on about? Um, but, it, but it sounds, uh, and it was a, wasn't there a movie of this? Yes, um, with Anna Kendrick and Jeremy Jordan. They did, uh, like, a year year ago, maybe? It, yeah. it wasn't ago, it that long out. ago, but it, did it ever even come out here? Well, again, I think kind of like the musical, it's very, it's, it was quite niche, and I think, you know, in, in many sort of social circles, I think probably it's played well, they on did, repeat. But It was on TV in America, but they did it in cinemas here. It did come out, yeah. yeah. Oh, OK. And you are doing it at the St James Theatre in London for October the 28th to November the 26th. And is there, I mean, I, I don't know, how, how when you go into something... You know, because if you bother to get the two of you who are, you know, well-known stars' names, um, is the is the idea that it will have a life beyond the month at St James? I, I don't, don't know. know. I, I really don't know. I mean, it's. I mean, that's an exciting. We idea. both dived in there. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Gosh, I have no idea. <laughs> well, it's exciting. I mean, it's such a mammoth show, vocally and emotionally, that you kind of go. Let's 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 just take the, let's take really it. How we get on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's yeah. And, and is it is it just a two hander? Yeah, yeah, it's just us two. And we don't really appear on stage together apart from one song, and so it's kind of it's a quite a, a lonely show they say because it's just you telling a story on your own completely without the yeah, other person, the, but you have to really imagine that the other person's <laughs> there with you, or else you go insane. So, yeah, <laughs> that's kind of crazy because it's the story of your relationship. Yeah, yeah. But you but you but, don't have one. <laughs> no, no, well, no, but it's all the, all the songs are quite sort of active in the sense that the other person's supposed to be present. So at the moment, there's a lot of sort of eyeline problems where you're having to sort of start floating and you go sort of boss eyed trying to work out where they are in your imagination just so that the audience can understand where they are. And the, uh, um, uh, I forgot his name now, Jason Robert Brown, who yeah. wrote it and is now directing it, um, is he doing lots of sort of extraneous rehearsal, kind of trying to build a relationship between the two of you, or is he just getting it on? Well, he he has a, had a really great technique at, at the beginning of rehearsals of having us both in each other's numbers. So for a while, we were like, I, am I in this bit for real or in for the rehearsals? <laughs> yeah. And so we would be in that, and it's so helpful actually now when you look back, because it's you really do have the other person to play off in your head, you know, and it's so a bit, but not so much anymore. We're kind of left to our own devices now, so. And is this your first time on stage for a while, Samantha? Yeah, well, I did Amelie last year in San Francisco, but sort of first time in London for a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> it's, yeah, very cool to be back in London doing theatre. I miss it, you know, it's, it's something that you crave, and once you get to do it, it's... 
a good good feeling. Yeah, and you've done. You, I mean, we've played your album on here. We we had your music on here. So are you going to do any more of that? Yeah, I'd definitely like to. Doing doing the album was a really cool, fun experience. Terrifying doing all the solo tour because I'm used to having a wonderful cast and things like that. But this is a, a little bit similar to that because I'm alone again on stage. But it's it's yeah, it was, it was a great experience doing the album. And how did this ha- happen, by the way, Jonathan? You know, because you, I don't associate you with musicals, and apparently, uh, so well, I never really associated myself. Did you? <laughs> did you audition for this? Did, did they just offer it to you? No, no, no. I, no, I did. I, I I went into a um a sort of church hall and um and sang for some lovely uh, ladies, and they filmed it and sent it to Jason at the beginning of the year. That sounds really professional. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Women's it's Institute, yeah, Women's Institute meeting in a church hall. You bring yeah. cake. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> bring it by, so. Um, but yeah, so then, and then, and then it sort of, sort of fell into place. But I've known Sam for a few years, a good few years. So um, then there was a there was a day where we sort of did a sort of sing sing together for Jason when he came over. And then Which was that, terrifying. It's terrifying. <laughs> I've like absolutely worshipped this guy's work forever. And he he said, "Do you do you sort of know the show?" I was like, "Um, kind." <laughs> It took everything I had to be like, I love it, it's the reason I breathe. It's, you know, and then you start singing and you're like, I, I want to yeah. be shaking. Yeah. Uh, now, uh, we'll have more chat with the two of you uh, and listeners' questions, juicy. But right now, we're going to uh, play a bit from the American uh, recording. Uh, we're not sh- Is this fr- This is from... Basically, we're saying the next ten minutes. So can you put it in some sort of context, this song, please? Yeah. Start. So the, the next ten minutes is the moment where they do meet, I think, for the first time, um, and it's where, in their timelines, they are in sync and they are in um, Central Park in a boat, and I think what happens is evident in the in the song. All right, let's uh, let's play on this. <laughs> hit it, hit it, hit it. Oh, hello. We're just we're chatting now. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. So I said to him, I said, <laughs> no, no, you did yeah. not. <laughs> that was the next ten minutes. How beautiful was that? And uh, that was uh, <laughs> Sherry Rene Scott, who uh, played Samantha Box part, and then poor old man, a lovely singing voice, but he's called Norbert Leo Butts. I mean, that's never going to be written in lights, Norbert. is it? Yeah. <laughs> Starring Norbert Leo Butts. Um, you'd change that, wouldn't you? You would think at drama school they'd have just said Norbert. I'd just be brand name Butts. He's a, he's yeah. a cool character, though, isn't he? Like, if I think if he pulls it off, you yeah, know, I mean, I couldn't it. pull it off, but he. Well, look at my last name. It's Barks. I don't know how to pull that off. I can't comment. I can't comment. No, Samantha Barks is a cool name. You could you could at least see it in lights. You could see that in lights. Uh, Samantha Barks and Jonathan Bailey are my guests, and they are starring in that musical. The last five years. It's a two-hander. It's at the St. James Theatre in London. It starts on October the 28th and runs for a month. Now, people have been in touch. Um, Rob from Bromsgrove. I believe, Jonathan, he knows the answer to this question. <laughs> if you hadn't become an actor, do you know Jonathan? No, you are Jonathan. Do you know Rob from Bromsgrove? <laughs> no, I don't. Okay. No. If you hadn't become an actor, what Bromsgrove. might you have done professionally? Ooh. Um, I think I used to say I was going to be a pilot. Why did you say that? I just thought that was an, that was a sort of um, valid sort of excuse. I could pretend and go and sort of run okay. into the drama department. And but did you actually have no no ambition at all growing up? I had no ambition. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh yeah, no, I don't. Yeah, I, I used to say pilot. I used to because I, I might, yeah. I just think I thought that was a good idea. But at school, were you able to say I want to be an actor, or was that just a stupid idea? And in fact, you had to have some other career plan. Well, I think I think it helped um, family and. Um, and teachers to have a sort of a, a backup sort of existence. So is there no performance, the, the Baileys, you don't come from a long line? No, no, not at all, no. I've got three older sisters and they're all doing brilliant um, things that are completely outside of that. And um, my mum and dad, uh, uh, my dad was in the honey, actually. Yeah! He was, uh, yeah, he was, I uh, brought the squeeze bottle to the UK. <laughs> Very proud of that. I love the squeezy bottle. Wow. Did you, did you bring the honey bear? We never got the honey bear. We don't have the honey bear. In America, yeah. the honey bear. I love the honey oh, no, bear. I love great. the honey bear. Yeah. Anyway. Get your dad onto it. I will, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, Frank and Bilston. 
Samantha, what can you tell us about the movie musical Strike? Have you filmed it yet? When will it come out? Tell us, tell us, go on. No, we haven't filmed that yet. Um, I The date's not 100% even set for that, but I think it'll be starting to film sometime next year. But that's about as much as I can Is, is it a that. stage musical that I haven't heard of? Or no, is it, it's, it's, it's an well, original? It was a, it was a stage musical, um, but they're making a film out of it in Canada. So it's kind of, I am waiting to hear details and things out on it but it's exciting and what's it all about a strike yeah i mean it's it's a lot it's it's sort of it has a a revolutionary feel but obviously far from from lemis let's just say it's far from lemis but it's yeah it's a long story to go into but it's are you wearing um, a jaunty cap (laughs) <laughs> yes, bring back the jaunty cap, yes. It's totally different than Les Mis. Uh, I don't wear a coat. I don't wear a coat. <laughs> but, yeah, no, I know. <laughs> uh, Jonathan, yeah. is it true... Oh, dear. Is it... I hope this isn't true. Oh, Sarah, no. Sarah and Bromley's asked this. What is Sarah? Uh, is it true, as part of your research for playing the young Leonardo da Vinci, yeah. you ordered a painting by numbers edition of the Mona Lisa? That's, 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 you're so rubbish. Um, you know, when it arrived, it was about three centimetres by three centimetres. There was literally two colours. <laughs> it's all in two circles on top of each other. And I was like, she looks beautiful. <laughs> so one, enigmatic. One so yeah. enigmatic. Yeah. Uh, uh, Francis and Alford, uh, as asking Sam, my daughter loved the Disney series Groove High. Was it fun to make and how long did it take to make? Well, I actually did that with a... Wonderful actor called Jonathan Bailey. Were you in Groove High? Yeah, that was our that was our first sweet collab. Oh wow! <laughs> yeah, it was, it was it was a Disney show where essentially we got cast when I think I was in my sort of, I was about twenty one. I think you were about nineteen. Yeah. Um, and we actually got around to shooting the live action because it was half cartoon, half live action. When I was about sort of twenty five, <laughs> we sort of haggard. And we were playing sort of fourteen year olds, and it was um, I mean it was an extraordinary experience. For it was many a, reasons. yeah, but we had a lot of fun. I mean, it was it, it really shot. Fun. In like a week. Yeah, we did 24 episodes in 10 days. And yeah. it was just, again, just me and Sam. And, you know, there was a sort of... A um, lot of laughter. ...high-octane, colourful series where there's things like sausages being thrown around and, you know... Yeah. <laughs> Is this on cap. YouTube, Groove High? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm going to check it out. <laughs> <laughs> check that out. <laughs> um, well, now, the next question, Michael from Prestwich, is what was your first big acting break? But now we know it was Groove High. It was Groove High, yeah. <laughs> now, <laughs> what was the, what was, Life is never going to be What was the first thing that somebody stopped you in the street and said, I liked you in? Oh, um, you know where you know you remember. No, no, no. I think I do. I think it was. I think it was Broadchurch. I think it must have been. Yeah. I don't think I ever. But it doesn't happen a lot. I don't. I really, really, really seriously doesn't. Um, but I think Broadchurch. I think Aww. because that. When if you it, see, if you see Jonathan today <laughs> out in your travels, do say hello. Uh, <laughs> really long blonde wig and a <laughs> yeah. um, Are you in the next Broadchurch? Um, the one that just finished. I'm not in the next one. <gasps> so. I know, I had an Do you die? Thing. Do you die? Is that a spoiler? What, that you're not in it? I don't know. Does it start with your funeral? Does it begin with your <laughs> yeah, funeral? Yeah. Is, is the mystery who killed your character, Ollie? <laughs> where, where did the ashes go? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. did, you, did you move to London to have an affair with that woman? Yeah, yeah, we're living a blissful existence in, um, in uh, the Caribbean. Okay. No, I don't know. So the, the, I had an amazing time with the first two series, but this one, I'm not in. Okay. So you never, know, about, what, you really never know what's going to happen in Broadchurch. Broadchurch. I mean, who knew Charlotte Rampling lived up the hill? Yeah, I mean, there was no <laughs> mention of her. In even, you never even saw that house. In it. <laughs> uh, we're kind of out of time, so... Uh, we need to shut up. Uh, the last five years, the last five years, which is a real treat. It's a it's a, a beautiful musical, and it hasn't been, if, if it has been done here, it hasn't been done in this way, and it's been staged by the writer. Uh, so it's the last five years, and it's at the St James Theatre in London from October the twenty eighth for a month. Uh, Samantha, Jonathan, thank you so much for coming in. Thanks thank for you for having us. <laughs>